Hello, everybody. I'm Brian Collins, your listening guru of California. Um, I just got something from Amazon. This is the uh, U10, I think it's U10, Uten, maybe Uten, uh, OBD scanner for my car. Uh, this is the uh, OBD2 and 1 scan tool. Uh, <clears throat> works on all 1996 and later uh, European and Asian vehicles. I have a Honda and so this should work for it and I just wanted to do a real quick unboxing and then I'm gonna go out and play with it a little bit. My Leatherman Super Tool 300. fun. I was thinking it was just going to be in the box, but it comes in a nice little case here. This is what it is. The U10 uh, OBD Super Tool. You can see here all of the things that it does. Yeah, it's good. It comes with this really nice little case right here. I'll strap down. That's nice. Here it looks like the lead. Looks like this plugs in up here. It's got a serial port here, and then this is probably plugs into the computer. Um, this is model 830. Looks like a USB, it's a micro, USB micro cable. And then of course you have the user's manual, which I will definitely am going to be reading. And I don't see a battery port, so I'm assuming that this thing is a Maybe it has a, a, a battery. Let me find out. So after browsing through this for a few minutes here, um, I noticed that their application that is available for a desktop computer or laptop uh, is only Windows compatible, which is a real bummer because I only have Apple computers. So I may not have the functionality to be able to print out diagnostic information or anything like that, be able to upload or even update the scan tool. So I guess that's something that you're gonna have to pay attention to. If you have a Windows computer, then you should be good to go. Yeah, so I will take it outside and get a little video of this guy working in my car. See what it has to say. It should come out all green because my car should be running just fine, but now we'll know for sure. All right, let's go. All right, everybody. So it's a different day. It's a nice sunny day outside. Actually, it's a little bit warm right now, but I wanted to uh, show the this OBD2 tester, uh, the scan tool. It is currently 700 degrees inside this car. So I'm gonna get the party started. I went ahead and found the OBD uh, port down at the driver's side and I plugged that in and went ahead and turned it on. So now I'm gonna turn on the engine so we can get some air conditioning first and foremost, but uh, we're going to get some uh, readings and I'll walk you through how to do, you know, some of the stuff okay so uh, car started got a little air moving in here so now I feel a lot better and now I can take my time so on this scan tool here um, you can see on my car here it looks like I got a permanent fault code uh, but you've got the escape and okay up and down left and right sorry left and right uh, help button and uh, instant readiness now look at this thing is pretty detailed and there's an entire book here of you know what every single thing meant personally I wanted to look at the streaming you know the engine diagnostics and the, the, the currently running stuff and I wanted to check any fault codes um, 
So there's a lot of different areas that you can go into here, but um, right here we're just going to go into the check diagnostic, and then it's going to run through all the different systems to access which system to see which system is you know going to be the proper one. And so it says right here, the MIL is the uh, maintenance indicator light status is off. You can see right here, I don't have any. I don't have any check engine lights or anything on. I've got 210,000 miles on this beast. Um, I am not currently wearing my seatbelt. Safety first, kids. Uh, but there's no check engine lights, there's no warnings, nothing. It says that the, the MIL status is off. And the DTCs, the diagnostic trouble codes, um, there's one, readiness completed, seven, readiness not completed was zero, readiness not supported, three, data stream supported 21 so there's 21 fields that support data stream uh, my ignition is spark not compression like a diesel protocol type is ISO which I'm honestly not 100% sure what that means so <clears throat> this is just your regular status and you hit OK and then you go into this menu here and you can read the codes you can erase codes I am readiness data stream um, really, I'm just going to go into about three of these here. Read codes. This is where you're going to find your 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 DTCs, your your data. <laughs> I forgot what they're called again. Data troubleshooting codes, I think. Diagnostic troubleshooting codes. So, read DTCs is going to be. Let's see if I can get a little bit clear. Read DTCs. Or current DTCs is where you're going to find the current diagnostic troubleshooting codes. If I get that right again, and I'll read the codes, and then it just tells you. So right there, I have in my car a rocker arm actuator system stuck on bank one. I don't have any idea what that means. I'm gonna have to Google it most likely. So that's something I have to look into. But that's the only one because it says right there one of one. So if there were more, there'd be more, and then you can use the arrow keys to go back and forth. So that's pretty much it. So that's it for my car. So that's good. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's get out of that here. You can go down here to data stream. This is reading codes and data stream is pretty much the only thing that I was really interested in doing with this. Um, you can use this as like a monitor. And then there's all items, select items, view graphic items, record all, or record select. I like to view them all. So it looks like down here in the corner, it says there's one of four. So there we go. Okay, so one of four. So fuel system status CL. I hope that means clear. Fuel system two, nothing. Uh, calculated load value, 25%. Current engine coolant temperature. So 185 degrees, and that's my car is fully warmed up because I did just get done driving 40 minutes. So. Um, short term fuel 6% I'm not sure what that means long term fuel trim 7% intake manifold absolute pressure 10 bars then we have engine RPM at 6 7 7 about 700 somewhere around there vehicle speed 0 miles per hour ignition timing advance 10 degrees intake air temperature 143 degrees oxygen sensor voltage output short term fuel trim OBD requirements is OBD2. Distance traveled while MIL is activated, nine miles. Oxygen sensor current and equivalent ratio, lumbar, I don't know what that means. Relative throttle, throttle position. Yeah, so I feel like there's a lot of different things that you can get here. Let's, uh, let's see, O2 sensor test. Let's go ahead and give her a whirl. No O2 sensor test on a 2006 Honda. CRV. So look, if you're super into diagnosing, di <laughs> diagnosing, diagnosing uh, vehicle codes, I feel like you could probably get pretty in depth with this. For just me and my, you know, basic needs for wanting to make sure that my car is running good, then I feel like that is, this is really good for that. I mean, now I get to go look up what a rocker arm switch bank on means and you know figure out what that what all that means
and my car, I feel like I maybe have never would have even checked. I would have never even known to check because the check engine light's not on. There is a lot of information here that I feel like I won't probably ever use a ton of this stuff. Basics, just the real basics information. And uh, that's, it's good enough for me. And uh, I feel like for for the money on Amazon, I feel like it's, it's a great little tool to have just in case my check engine light comes on. It says vehicle coverage. The scan tool is specifically designed to work with all OBG2 compliant vehicles, including and is required by the APA that all 96 and newer vehicles sold in the United States must be OBG2 compliant. This includes all American, Asian, and European vehicles. So I feel like this pretty much covers everything from 96 or newer American, Asian, or European vehicles. Um, we also have a 2018 Dodge Durango, so I'm going to give it a shot and see how it reads on that thing as well. So that's pretty much it for me. That's everything I've got. I'm going to get out of the hot car. Well, it's not that hot right now. but So that was my review of the Uten uh, OBD 1 and 2 uh, code reader. And um, hope you enjoyed it. And this will, you know, it'll be a handy little guy to have around, uh, especially with my car being older, getting older, and uh, all that good stuff. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. And uh, if you didn't, leave comments. Let me know what you want to see. That's pretty much it for me. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.